hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, so today I'm doing a video on uh, this game called logic puzzle now uh, I had seen a similar game online a few months ago uh, I think on one of those YouTube videos and um, I don't remember which brand but uh, this was one of the games that uh, I've been searching for quite some time and I found this during a sale last year at landmark shop and I went ahead and I purchased it and I have been playing this with my four year old for a um, couple of months and he seems to be really enjoying it and he's getting really good at this so this uh, this game comes with a question and answer booklet and it also comes with this game board the uh, i don't know what these are called so the crossing plates or you know something like that and these are the straight ones and then they also came with the stickers that i've stuck here and these are the extra stickers there are two sets of balls so we have uh, five colored balls two of each so I like that they've given extra balls in case we lose uh, some of them. And um, we also have this piece that uh, fits there. I'll just show you that. And we also have two of these kinds of, you know, uh, hidden crossover pieces that are cross and the straight at the same time. So let's get started so uh, the booklet opens up to a spreadsheet like that and uh, it's a really long spreadsheet so on one side you have all the uh, questions or uh, the puzzles and on the back side you have all the answers that show you where the pieces go so the aim of this game is so I just had that folded up. So the aim of this game is to uh, place the balls in this area, in this blue thing. And then you roll it and then you place the pieces accordingly so that the uh, balls fall into their respective colored um, spaces. So I'll just do the first level. So these are the easiest ones. So you have just one level of pieces right there and the balls need to be put in their respective places. So if we start with this one, we have uh, the first one. It also shows you what pieces you need to use and you need to place those same pieces. So I'll just go for, okay, I'll go for this one. I'll go for number four. So the fourth one in this puzzle is, okay, so let's, get that done we first have the yellow red green so we take one yellow yellow then red and then we place the green one followed by purple and blue so purple and blue and you need to use one white piece and two of green pieces. So we take one white piece and one white piece and two green pieces. So uh, first what we do is we pick out the piece that has to go straight because these are the straight ones. So we put that there and this one right there and this one right there. And what happens is the balls roll and they fall into the respective colors. And this is so satisfying to do at the end of placing all these pieces. My toddler loves it. Then as in how the levels are progress. So you have level 1 that was right there. In level 2 this would be moved right here and there would be two levels of pieces that you need to place here and then move on and on to five and then until level six wherein you use the entire board and you place all the pieces right there. So 
so let me show you one of that as well so i have the boat set up for number 11 and i've used six white ones and nine green ones and two of these blue ones and i have all the balls placed right there and let's get the magic started this is the best part so we just roll them whoopsies i think that went crisscross let's try that again so green So that tends to happen when the pieces are not aligned properly. Uh, you just need to make sure that they are fixed correctly. Because otherwise if the pieces shake a bit or if they are a bit crooked, they won't roll as easily. So this has again been a very good buy. And it was really great because we got, the, got this at a very good rate. And... Uh, so i'll try to find the link for it online if i can but um, let me see not so sure but uh, i hope you find this somewhere in some sh shop because this really is a good game and it really encourages your uh, kiddo to think and try to figure out why it uh, the green ones make it go cross or why the white ones make it go straight and to make them jot out a path so i think in that way it's really um, helpful in uh, getting them to think logically step after step and obviously as your child is younger they would probably be able to do level one and maybe level two and as in how they practice and they grow older and they think better they'll be able to solve all the levels and uh the higher levels can actually take time to line up the pieces and try and figure out the way to you know get the balls to come down to their respective uh, spaces so it's a good game that is easy and that is also challenging so it's good to keep the kids occupied it's again a game that will grow with your kids so a good investment so i hope you liked watching my video and found it helpful thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to click on like and don't forget to share bye bye